it has been a whole seven months, so I hope Sabara Uta is doing okay. When I tell you it has been a drought, I've even been reading some citrus fan fiction to fill the void, but that can only go so far, right? You want the official thing, you want to see the manga panels of our favorite characters, Yuzu and Mei. So how is Yuzu going to communicate her feelings to Mei in this next chapter? Or is she going to communicate them at all? I guess I'm about to see right now, so let's go. All right, front page cover. Now this is gorgeous. When I first saw the leak of this, it blew, it blew my breath away. It, it took my breath away, okay? Yuzu and Mei in their little night suits. Yuzu, no doubt, playing dress up with Mei, one of her favorite things. I want to support you in whatever way I can. Of course, of course, Yuzu. September 30th through October 4th. All right, we have Mei at her favorite desk doing some work. She looks a little worried, melancholy. Knock, knock. I'm coming in. May, you know how I said there was something I wanted to talk to you about earlier? Is now okay? Ooh, is she gonna... Is she gonna communicate? Go ahead. Oh, Yuzu, don't screw this up. So, I was thinking... I'd like to meet up with Arata sometime to chat. Would that be okay with you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't have any problem with that personally. Although, could you at least tell me what it is you'd like to discuss with him? Sure, I can do that. So like, you know how the other day you were talking about how you and Arata were gonna be working together as partners and all that? So this isn't like your fault or anything, but lately I've had this weird murky feeling in my chest that I just haven't been able to shake. Speaking of which, I'm really sorry about the other day. That was just, I don't know, I... Yuzu, you do not have to apologize for pushing Mei onto the bed. You never have to apologize for that. You don't need to worry about that. Please continue. Okay, so anyway, I was thinking about where that murky feeling was coming from, and I realized that the reason I've been feeling so uneasy is because I don't know anything about Arata yet. Well, that's fair enough. If I can talk with him more and become friends with him, then I should be able to stop being so pointlessly worried all the time. And I might even be able to help you out with your work more too. I would rather you not feel as though you need to concern yourself with supporting my work, but if talking with Arata would help put your mind at ease, then I also think that sounds like a worthwhile endeavor. Uh, Glomp, thank you so much! Okay. Now they've made up. Oh, that's a beautiful panel of May. God, her art is so good. Um, I know it's a little unfair of me to ask this after I've already gotten your permission, but do you not feel uneasy at all about me meeting with Arata? What is this? <laughs> I see, so that's why you felt the need to clear this with me first. Y yeah. Allow me to apply your reasoning to my own perspective. I know both you and Arata well, so I do not believe I have any cause for concern. <laughs> <laughs> Yuzu. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> Would it be all right to consider this matter, matter resolved then? Yep. I need to concentrate on my work now, so could I ask you to keep the noise to a minimum for a while? Sure, no prob. In that case, maybe I'll go ahead and get some studying done in the meantime. See, it was that simple. It was that simple. We didn't have to draw it out for as long as we did. Okay, now Yuzu is out, out and about. All right, Arata and I are going to be total besties by the time today is over. Oh, I hope so. Perfect. Looks like I got here ten minutes ahead of schedule. I'm so on top of things today. This is going to be a breeze. Oh, there he is. Oh, Arata in casual clothes. Whoa, you're here early. I even left earlier than I needed to, to make sure I wasn't late. Oh, hey, I guess that works out perfectly then. All right, what's the plan? He's huge. <laughs> Why don't we go somewhere... Why don't we go find somewhere where we can talk first? Sounds good to me. Oh, right. Mind if I say something first? Hmm? Sure. I wonder if he knows. I mean, he doesn't know yet that they're together, that Yuzu and Mei are engaged. So this should be interesting. I just wanted to thank you for getting me in touch with Mei the other day. Oh, that? Don't worry. It was no problem at all. It was a huge help. I should be the one thanking you for taking the time to meet me like this. Oh, all right then. So what did you want to talk to me about? Um, to put it simply, I came here today because I wanted to get to know you better. Oh yeah? 
<gasps> Arata's going to take it the wrong way, and Yuzu is probably coming off like she wants to do something else. Also, um, this is gonna sound like a pretty weird question to ask, but are you just like a normal high schooler? Huh? <laughs> he did not expect that question. Oh, Yuzu. <laughs> Sorry, I just mean like, do you do a lot of work for your school like May does or anything like that? Oh, that's what you meant. Gotcha, gotcha. Takes a drink. To tell the truth, my answer to that question isn't something I'm very proud to admit. Compared to May, I basically haven't done anything. When I saw May again the day she came to our school, it was kind of a rude awakening for me personal for me actually. It made me realize just how far ahead of me she was and just how much I still had to learn. After that, I talked to my dad and tried to get him to fill me in on a whole bunch of stuff, but he wouldn't tell me any of the things that were actually important. So May is a harder worker than he is for her school. I think I kind of understand how he feels when it comes to May's work. I'm just as... What about you, Yuzu? Do you help out with May's work at all? Uh, nah, I basically haven't done anything either. Honestly, it feels more like I'm getting in her way than anything else. Still, I'm gonna keep on working to improve myself until I'm dependable enough to help May support Ihara Academy together. Together. <laughs> in that case, I'm not gonna let myself fall behind. I'm gonna keep improving right along with you and become the pillar of support that Akamina Academy needs. <laughs> Yuzu, the ever inspirational character. <laughs> anyway, this cake is actually insane, right? Yeah, it totally is. Oh yeah, Yuzu, have you heard about the thing that's going on between our two schools yet? May made an announcement at a school-wide assembly about the school festival thing, but that's about it. Oh, okay, well actually, it seems like the overall plan is to give both academies notoriety a boost by working together in a way that lets them make up for each other's shortcomings. Oh, interesting. Also, keep this between us, but our school is kind of struggling to stay afloat right now. I think a big part of the reason we're doing this collaboration is because we need Aihara Academy's help to try and remedy that. Oh, so that's why we're doing a joint school festival. If we can get both of our school's names out there and see an increase in both our enrollments as a result, that'd be a big win for everyone involved, right? There's no reason not to do everything we can to make this Academy Festival success. Beam. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna knock this thing right out of the park. Woohoo! I'm home! Today went really great. Huh? Bathroom, maybe? Okay, I just have to say, I didn't point it out before, but Yuzu's outfits are always on point. From citrus to now, Saburo Uta really takes her time with Yuzu. Her being a fashionable Gyaru character and all. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> what's going on? Hmm? Welcome home. Sorry, May. This was lying out, so I just happened to see it. What did Yuzu see? Don't hurt my girl. Don't hurt my girl again. Come on now. This stuff about buying out Akamina Academy, is this for real? Yes, it is. Wait. Oh, so she's gonna like... Oh, so Akamina Academy will be no more. So, in essentially... May is turning against her childhood friend? Is this what all this was about? Huh. So what does this mean? Does this mean that their schools are gonna merge or it's just gonna be another, it's gonna be an extension of Aihara Academy? Hmm. Well, this wasn't the drama I had quite expected, but I knew in my heart it wasn't gonna be anything weird. There wasn't gonna be anything weird between May and Arata. She kind of Saburota made it seem like maybe it would be like that, but we know better. And then there was nothing weird between Arata and Yuzu, of course. They became good friends, or at least were getting along well. So now I think Yuzu emphasizes with her new friend, and uh, wow, this will be an interesting issue of, uh, I guess, morals and ethics? Whereas for May, it's just gonna be business as usual. Interesting way to bring in the conflict. The art was fantastic in this chapter. Yuzu and Mei looked great. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more cute moments from them. I mean, having to wait seven months since the last one, I hope the next one won't be in seven more months. I hope that the chapter releases will be more consistent. Thank you so much to Chaos Team for providing this translation, and thank you so much to Saburo Uta for all of your fantastic, amazing work. I will continue to love Citrus. And this art that was at the end of this chapter for, I think, the release of Volume 6 in Japan is so cute.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, okay? Love you all. Thank you. Till next time.